I know most people be wondering, like, why is it so hard to come to God or, you know, make God number one in your life? Like, to really walk by faith and not by sight. And the reason is, for me, I can honestly say, it's lonely. You know, it's lonely at the top. You know, when you don't have the support that you thought that you had on your new journey in life, evolving into something bigger and better than you could ever dream of, and you don't have the support, it crush you, you know? When you can't be who God wants you to be because you are afraid of everybody judging you or afraid of what people are going to say or afraid of the things that you didn't did in your past. All that. You know, it, it's, it's all that. And it, it, it's hard to just be in that world by yourself and just know that it's sometimes it's just going to be you and God. You know what I'm saying? And it's easier to go the broad way because that's where everybody going. That's where the party at. That's where everybody at. But it's only so many people over here the narrow way. You know what I'm saying? That's why everyone is called, but only a few are chosen because not everyone accepts the call. Nobody really wants to accept this call. I didn't want to accept the call. I keep running from this call. You know, because I'm afraid of what the world would think when I didn't be worried about what God would think. You know, and then especially this last time, I just did things that I never thought I would have done. You know, and it really made me be like, I can't go to him like this. I can't do this. But there was nobody but the devil trying to distract me because he know that I got a call in my life. He know I got a purpose in my life. He know that it's people out here that I got to reach, you know, and I can share my testimony with these people once it happened. And I can change lives. And I can, I, can, I can bring more people to Christ and not just myself every time. So it gets lonely. And people, and people, and people that know me since I've been on this journey and I keep getting on and getting off and keep getting on and keep getting off is because it's, I get lonely. But now I know that sometime it's just going to be me and God. Even though I got my kids, I got a, a husband, I got family, it's going to be me and God. And sometimes people not going to understand. You know what I'm saying? People... And even with me just being who I am, if I put on the full arm of God every single day, the devil won't be able to creep in. You know what I'm saying? If I got on the full arm of God, when I might, when I, that time when I feel like I got a cussing mother ever hot, if I got on the full arm of God, I can be like, you know what, they got it. Instead of having to let somebody know what I'm about. It's just growth and just trusting and, and believing in God. And it's not going to always be lonely. But God needs to know that you can trust him. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, sometimes it's just going to be you and him. And he needs you to trust him. And it's going to be hard. It's going to get lonely. You're going to continue to backslide you know i'm in a backslide state right now but i gave god my yes and as long as i continue to keep him number one priority not just oh god is in my life but if i keep him number one priority, i'm gonna be straight i'm gonna be good so that's why it's hard Following Christ because it get lonely at the top.